Hi y'all, it's Annalise, and these are the Beats Flex, Apple's newest wireless headphones that come in at a sweet, sweet price of only $50. I've had them for about a month now since they came out, and I've been testing them out, wearing them, using them a lot, and in this video, I wanted to let you know what I think about the Beats Flex and if I think they're worth it. So as you guys saw, I did an unboxing of the Beats Flex the day I got them, and I didn't realize that it was already over a month ago. So I've had these things for a month, and I've been using them so much, and I'm gonna tell you right up top, I love them. If y'all know me and you've been on the channel before, you probably have seen my review on my Beats X. And I love these headphones. They look kind of like in shambles, and if you saw them up close, you would see that the remote is broken, and if you take off the little ear bit, it's busted inside there. But these headphones have held up through so much. And if you can't tell, these look pretty similar to these. So when I saw that the Beats Flex came out, I was like, oh, it is another Beats X, but updated and mine are on their last leg. So maybe I should give the Beats Flex a try. And I'm so glad I did. The Beats Flex have everything that I love about the Beats X, except they're just updated a little bit. Also a lot cheaper. I paid $150 for these and I paid 50 for these. Amazing, amazing. So one of the first things that I love about the Beats Flex is that they have a 12 hour battery life. The battery on the Beats X was eight hours, so the battery life has improved by four hours, and honestly, I can tell. The first time that I realized like, oh my gosh, these headphones last a long time is when I was working one day and I wore them for my entire day working. And typically I'd be wearing my AirPods too, and I would have to take them out at some point because maybe the battery died. And I went the whole day with these and didn't even charge them for I think another two days. That's something I always loved about my Beats X is I felt like I never charged them. Now when it comes to charging, one thing that I'm annoyed by, I'm not really annoyed, but is that they are USB-C charge only. Now the reason why this personally is a little bit annoying is that what I love about my AirPods and my Beats X is let's say I was on my way to the gym when I was in my car and I was like, oh, my headphones aren't charged. I can plug them into my car charger for my iPhone and then get a little bit of juice on the way there. And because all of these devices have some sort of like fast charging, on the Beats Flex, it's 10 minutes of charge for an hour and a half of playback. So that's really nice. Even if you're on a short drive, you can still get a lot of juice in your devices, but by it being a USB-C charge only, I'm kind of stuck for charging at home until I get a USB-C charge charger for my car, but then I would specifically only have it for my headphones, which it's not that big of a deal, but there was one day where I forgot to charge my Beats Flex, so instead I used my AirPods all day, which was fine. That's one little silly little thing, but this USB-C cable is so cute that it comes with. It's so though a tiny one. I love it. <laughs> But like I said, it's got 12 hours of battery, so you should hopefully never be in that position. But when I get home, I just check on my battery, and if it's low, I just plug it into my computer charger, which is great. Now, speaking of my computer, there was a little bit of a pickle when these guys first came out, and I don't know what it was, and at first I thought it was me, but then after going on the Apple support community and all that stuff, turns out everybody was having this issue. And when these headphones came out, they would not connect to a Mac. So I had no issue connecting between my iPad and my iPhone, and they have the W1 chip, so it works just like the Beats X or the AirPods in the way that you can connect, and then it just jumps over to the other device. You can do that multiple shared listening thing, with multiple headsets and it, it's a real good time. We love the W1 chip. However, I then went onto my computer so excited to use my Beats Flex because I had just gotten them that day and I needed to do some video editing, but I wanted to sit in the living room. And then I was running into so many issues of why wasn't it working? It was registering it as like a Bluetooth speaker, which was just so weird, which all of this doesn't really matter because the solution has been found and that is Mac OS Big Sur. So this is just kind of like a word to the wise. If you have a Mac and you also want a pair of Beats Flex, make sure your Mac is on the latest software because prior to Big Sur, it did not work with my computer at all. It was actually a few minutes before recording this video. I realized I hadn't used my headphones with my Mac yet since I've updated it and it worked. So that's good. And it comes up as the little Beats icon. So we know the whole W1 chips stuff is working. It's a good time. We like it when things work. Now, another thing I'm staring at right here is these little in-ear pieces. And these are all the different sizes it comes with. You get the small, you get like the active tip, and then the big one. None of these fit my ears. Luckily, the medium size fits perfect. It was great from the start. But one thing I also liked about my Beats X, oh gosh, these things look so bad. But the one thing I progressively really liked about the Beats X is these little wing tips that they came with. Now mine broke and I ordered these actually off of Amazon and they do the trick just fine. But I was 
kind of wondering if these wingtips would fit on my Beats Flex. Now the answer is technically yes, they fit. However, at the bottom of the headphone, the earphone on the Beats X, there is like this, the only way I can explain it is a vent. And in these wingtip covers, there is a hole for that vent. However, on the Beats Flex, that vent is on the top instead of the bottom. So I don't know what that does. I, I've tried figuring it out. I, I kind of listened to it and it, I, I, I couldn't figure it out, but it covers it. So I don't know if that's something that I would not want to cover or if I would. If anybody has some insight on this, please let me know because I do like the wingtips and I really liked these when I was working out and I haven't been able to go running with my Beats Flex yet because it's been raining where I live. So it's been not, not, not good. I don't have good knees. And the last thing your girl needs to do is go and slip on my butt in the middle of the road. Not a good time. Time. Nobody wants to see that. So I have not tried it. However, when I'm working, it's a physical job. So they've so far been rad. I loved it. They kind of have the same vibe as my Beats X where, you know, maybe your ears get a little sweaty or whatever it is and you just kind of go boop and then they're back in and it's it's a good time. Now, while I'm here, something I wanted to talk about too was this neck band that comes with the Beats Flex. So there are a couple of buttons on here. On the right-hand side, you have the power. And on the left-hand side, you have the volume rocker on the top. And on the side, like where the microphone is facing your face, if that makes sense right here, is your Siri slash your play, pause, button, which when I was originally looking at them in my unboxing, I didn't notice until the end that the button existed. And it's kind of nice having it there because I feel like you're not chasing the wire. Cause as you can see, like this wire sometimes has a mind of its own. And if I'm like trying to find the, th the, the, the inline remote, but by it being on the neck piece, it's kind of always in the same spot. So knowing that's where I can find my volume and my sound. And then also that's where you got the charger too. So that's just something to note. Like I said, I've worn them in like pretty much all day scenarios and they are so comfortable. I've been loving my AirPods ever since I got them and they've been super comfortable for me. However, since I've had my Beats Flex, I've been reaching for my Beats Flex. And there's just something that I feel you personally can't be about a like soft tip in ear headphone versus like the AirPods hard plastic shape. There's just something different about this style of headset that works really great for me. So if you like this kind of style where it's just an earbud with a soft tip that goes in your ear, like the Beats X. The Beats Flex are amazing. Super comfortable. I can wear them all day. Also, what's nice about it going like in your ear is it does a little bit of like noise canceling just because your, your whole ear is plugged. So you're gonna cancel out some noise, but but they're great. And, and the cable doesn't get in the way. It's not uncomfortable. It's really soft. So if you're worried about this being annoying, it is not bad at all. And then one last thing I wanted to talk about, which was something I thought was cool but in practice, not that cool. And that is the magnet pause feature. So if you've ever used a pair of AirPods, whether they are AirPods or AirPods Pro, you would know that soon as you take one of these guys out of your ear, your music, your video, your podcast, whatever audio you're listening goes on pause automatically. It's magic. It's the magic of the W1 slash W2 chip, whatever. But with the Beats Flex, there is no like sensor doodad on here in the same way that there are with the AirPods. So instead, because they magnetize at the bottom so nicely, wow, what a pretty necklace. That's the pause feature is them magnetizing together. Now, when I thought of it, I was like, cool beans. I like that feature about AirPods, but in practice, let's say I only have one in, or maybe I have two in. What's nice about the AirPods is I can go, uh-huh, and my, my music has stopped. Beats Flex, don't do that. Secondly, let's say I wanted to do like a, oh, I need to take my headphones out immediately and I'd like my thing to pause. Take out, and they, they don't always find each other, see? And so I kind of have to, Jimmy them together. And this sounds dumb, <laughs> but when you're listening to a podcast, the amount of time it would take if you're just letting them fall and find themselves to pause, you might miss like 30 seconds of a story or whatever you're listening to. And then you kind of got to go back. So you would almost be better off taking them out of your ears and putting them together yourself and then dropping them. That's just an observation that I've had of like, it's a good idea. It's just, it doesn't work as nicely as the AirPods, but the AirPods are also like $150, so, and, and just completely differently designed. So uh, makes sense, but good job for trying Apple. 
good job for trying. I just love how these look. I'm really into this yuzu yellow. I did not think I was gonna be like super vibing with it, but it's like a, a bright pastel yellow. I read online that the other two colors, which I thought were just out of stock at my store, are actually coming out in 2021. So if you want a gray or a blue color, wait until 2021 to get these guys. Otherwise, if you are okay with the yellow, or I think the other color is black, pick up a pair of Beats Flex if you're thinking about it, because $50 for, mind you, I haven't even mentioned the sound quality because I'm not like an audiophile. So I don't feel like I have a place to be like, well, the treble was not strong enough, but the bass and yada, yada, yada. They sound great. They sound great. If you are wanting to pay 50, okay, let's put it this way. I paid $150 for these. I paid $50 for these. They sound the same. There you go. I, if, yeah, I like, if you want a pair of headphones that are wireless, cause they're, this is the only wire. It's one single wire around your head. Like pick up the Beats Flex cause they're great sounding. So I've used it for video editing. I've used it for listening to YouTube videos, listening to podcasts of all different qualities. I've listened to different genres of music and it all sounds pretty dang good. And while we're on the subject of how these headphones sound, I just wanted to do a quick voice memo test audio so that way y'all all know what the microphone sounds like. I'm just recording a voice memo using my iPhone. This audio is not the best, but it's also not the worst. And you can't ask for a whole lot when you're looking at a wireless Bluetooth $50 pair of headphones. There are a lot of headphones on the market and even the AirPods I don't think have a good microphone, but I can bet that people are looking at these headphones for the sound quality, like the audio coming out of them versus how the microphone sounds. But still, I wanted to give you an example. So this is the microphone on the Beats Flex. Also, it's nothing to bark at for 50 freaking dollars. Like what? So absolutely, if you are considering getting these headphones, do it, make the leap because it is, it's just totally worth it. Or or also with the Hollyays around the corner, great stocking stuffer if you're somebody to put very expensive stocking stuffers in people's stocking, or just a great gift because this th this does all the things. It is it is AirPods, but cheaper and not as trendy looking. I think they look good too. I personally like the design of them. So anyway, this was all just me telling you that I love the Beats Flex and I think you will too. And if you're somebody who's already gotten your hands on a pair of Beats Flex, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you agree with me, if you have some other experience as a more audio specifics that you do or you don't like, leave those in the comments so that way anybody who comes and watches this video can check out your opinion as well. But I think that is it for this review on the Beats Flex. Thanks for hanging out with me and spending some time with me, hearing me talk about my new favorite headphone. That doesn't mean, don't, don't worry. You are still my favorites. I just also have another favorite now. I can have two favorites. <laughs> favorites for different occasions, you know? So if y'all like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you like videos like these. It also tells YouTube that you like me and videos like these. If you're one of the 90% of viewers who are not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? Subscribe. We talk about tech over here. We get excited about tech things. I teach you about tech things. Then we have some fun silly time videos too. It's a it's a good time all around. So just subscribe. You'll, you'll be happier once you're subscribed. Ask all the people in the comments. They they also love it here, right guys? Vouch for me here. I do have a Patreon and I have a podcast. So if you want to hear more of me or support me monetarily, please consider checking those two things out. I greatly appreciate it. It's always linked in the description of all my videos. Otherwise, that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!